In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign grades to H5P content used in your course. Let's get started. There are a variety of different types of H5P activities you can use. Let's first look at how you can assign grades to an interactive video. The first step is to import the tool into your content bank. If you're not sure how to do this, we do have a video on how to import an existing H5P to your course content bank that's available in the tutorial section. Let's first look at how we could assign grades to an interactive video. The first step is to locate and click on the tool of interest in your course content bank. Then you want to open the editor. To do that, click edit in the top right hand corner. To be able to assign grades or record completion of activity, there needs to be some sort of interaction added to the H5P with a graded question. You can always add a quick multiple choice question near the end of the video if you have an H5P that does not currently have a graded question. Most, if not all, of the H5P interactive videos available in the Paths Toolkit do include some form of interaction, as does this one. This video has three interactions, as you can see from the circles and the timeline. You need to indicate at what point you want your students to submit their response to the system. So for that, you need to identify the point in the video where you want this to take place. I would say somewhere probably near the end is a good place to insert the submit screen option that would capture the student's response. So for this, bring the video to the point of interest, then click on the star element and select add submit screen at the given timestamp. Once this has been activated, you will see a line appear along the timeline. At that point, the tool will prompt your students to submit their response and the grades will be recorded in eClass. So we have added our submit screen. Let's save the changes and test it out to make sure everything looks good. The students will need to complete the activity, so I'm going to play and skip to the activities for the purposes of this demo. The first activity is a drag and drop. Let's complete the three activities together. To submit the response, the students need to reach the submit screen point of the video, where the green box appears that says Submit Answers. They then need to click on it for the responses to be recorded in Gradebook. After clicking on it, the system does confirm submission with this green text that says your answers have been submitted. Remember, you need to add your H5Ps to your course page for it to be available to students. Students will not have access to your content bank. They will only have access to the tools that you make available to them through the home page. So let's add this H5P tool to our teamwork module. To do this, you're going to go to your home page, turn editing on, then click on add an activity or resource, find and select H5P from the list. Give it a name. I'm going to call this module one intro to teamwork. Then scroll down to the package files section and click on files. Since all of our H5Ps are in the content bank, go to the content bank and select the tool of interest. You can assign points to the H5P. You can assign a category as you would with other assignments. So once you're happy with the grade settings and with the tool, scroll down and click save and return to course. This tool will now be available to students and responses will be captured in the gradebook. Let's click on the gradebook for a second. This course currently has one student, and as you can see, Martina has already completed the first H5P activity. I also have a team charter worksheet in this course, which as you can see also appears in the gradebook. Let me show you how you can change the points attached to this assignment. Go back to your homepage, turn on the editing setting, click on the tool, then click on the gear icon here in the top right hand corner, then click edit settings. Once the settings open, scroll down to the grade section. Again, here you can make changes on how this assessment is graded. Remember, anytime you make changes to any of the tools in eClass, you need to scroll down and click Save. Once you're back on your home page, you want to turn off editing. 